story you will only see on RTV6, a rare crime uncovered in Johnson County, but one with far-reaching impact. Greenwood police seized nearly 1,800 pirated and counterfeit DVDs from two area thrift stores. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt has a story now from Greenwood. The counterfeit DVDs Greenwood police say did not belong to the owners of Emporium 31, but rather they belonged to a vendor who was running booth space inside. Greenwood police acted quickly to an anonymous tip to their crime reporting hotline. Undercover officers purchased a single DVD, determined that it was counterfeit, allowing them to seize the entire inventory without a search warrant. It's just one of those things uh, where here, specifically because of technology, we tend to see or expect certain quality. Uh, here it was obvious that uh, what the consumers were paying for uh, was not what was being represented. Police recovered 1,755 DVDs, which they believe may have been counterfeited somewhere in Asia, perhaps China. Greenwood police have also reached out to the motion picture industry for guidance and direction for the investigation going forward. I'd like to know if you have the movie called The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The manager of Greenwood's family video store says counterfeiting is harmful across the board, not only to the motion picture industry, but to actors, directors, and those who make the movies. But for someone like us, you know, we're just hardworking people, normal everyday people, and, uh, you know, we've seen businesses go out of business for various reasons in our industry. We're pretty much one of the only ones around, and uh, that does take away from our business ourselves, and we're trying to serve our customers best we can. Greenwood police say the vendor in question has so far cooperated in the investigation, but going forward, they say the counterfeiting operation could lead to additional individuals in an ever-widening criminal probe. Quality, representation, and of course there's copyright issues uh, between the filmmakers associations and, and the fact that the consumers are the real victims at this point. The ownership of Emporium 31 declined an on-camera interview, but Greenwood police say they're cooperating fully with the investigation. In Greenwood, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Uh, Jack also tells us that Greenwood police say the person of interest in the case faces state charges of fraud, but given the quantity of the pirated DVDs, other charges, including federal charges, could also apply in this case.